Whoop de fucking do. Do 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 do. So Whoopi Goldberg up and got herself a nice fat two week suspension from The View. Upon hearing this, I immediately jumped onto the information superhighway to find out what kind of a tweet she posted. I was all ready to find out about some anti vax pro Trump, homophobias, pro racisms, ableistic, toxic masculinity supporting tweets. Only to be let down because all she did was make some stupid comments about the Holocaust. I mean, just check this bullshit out. The Holocaust isn't about race. Mm -hmm. This wasn't this wasn't based on the skin. You couldn't tell who was Jewish. They had to delve deeply to figure it out. My point is they had to do the work because you can't tell who's Jewish. This is white people doing it to white people. Yeah. So and this yeah. is y'all. Y'all go fight amongst yourselves, but don't, <laughs> you know. Well, far be it for me to judge Whoopi Goldberg. She has the one-two punch of being both a black and a woman. Therefore, she's an expert on all things racism and all things misogyny. Doesn't matter that she's a high-paid actress who lives in a multi-million-dollar establishment surrounded by sycophants who are willing to kiss her ass. No, because she's black, she is therefore horrifically persecuted. So when she says that the Holocaust isn't about race, you can rest assured she is 100% correct. Because it was just the white Germans going after the white Jews, it wasn't racist at all. It was just whites eating other whites. So there's really nothing to worry about. And as much as I would love to talk about the blatant hypocrisy of Whoopi's two week suspension and about how Gina Carano makes some innocuous tweets and gets fired from Disney, I'm not gonna do that. To be honest, there's already plenty of YouTube commentators out there who we're already talking about this. And cards down on the table. Gina Carano kinda scares me. I mean, just look at her. She looks like she could split me in half. And I got enough problems in my life without worrying if Gina Carano is gonna break my legs with her neck. Personally, I think we're missing the bigger picture here. Whoopi went on to make these dumbass comments because of a Tennessee school board's unanimous decision to ban the graphic novel Mouse from their eighth grade curriculum because of profanity and nudity. And you know what? They kind of have a point. I am a white man after all, and as a white man, I am obligated to represent all whites everywhere. When I say, when we think about the Holocaust, nothing but titties and swears. Titties and swears. Titties here, swears there, titties and swears everywhere from she to shining sea, from coast to mighty coast, from Bangor all the way to mighty Maine. We're Americans, goddammit. And titties and swears is what the Holocaust means to us. And when you think about it, they're completely right, because Mouse isn't clever, it's not well thought out or eloquent, it doesn't do a profoundly amazing job of telling a tale of persecution, subjugation, suffering and survival through one of the most historically significant war atrocities of the 20th century. Nah, -uh. it is a filthy, demented story that children should not be seeing, because we don't want to be exposing those poor, innocent 8th graders to titties and swears. And any concerned parent who says otherwise is nothing short of a domestic extremists because they demand a say in their children's public education. Well, guess what, Mr. and Mrs. Pol Pot? I got some news for you. The school boards across America have already chosen a much more important list of books for your kids that are not only good, they're probably better and more historically accurate than Mouse. These books deal with hot button issues like lesbian fucking anal rape, and buying vibrating marital aids on the internet. If you legitimately think that any of the topics I just mentioned are inappropriate for children and teenagers, well then I kindly invite you to stop gargling Osama Bin Laden's balls for a second, wipe off your mouth, shut the fuck up, and listen. Times change, and the books you grew up reading in middle school and high school were chock full of racisms and ableisms and therefore are no longer good for your children. And if you disagree, you're just as bad, if not worse, than Adolf Hitler himself. To kill a mockingbird? More like to kill an attention span, am I right? Grapes of Wrath? Who the fuck wants to read about white hillbillies who are too stupid to know how to farm? 1984? I'll tell you what happened in 84. Nothing but racisms and hair metal. Of mice and men, Steinbeck should have had the common sense to have more black retards in the story. So if you're a so-called parent who thinks that this passes for acceptable reading material for the youth of America, you might as well call yourself a Joseph Stalin fetishist because that's literally what you are.
I have said this before and I will say it again. Just because your taxpayer dollars go to fund these educational institutions does not mean that you get to voice your concerns when your child is assigned a book where the main character gets fucked with a strap on. I mean, how can you possibly think that that's not problematic behavior? If that's your way of thinking, let me ask you a personal question. After you're done making sweet love to Kim Jong-un, are you the big spoon or little spoon? So just shut your mouth holes already, you fucking terrorist. It's not normal for parents to actually be concerned over what media their children are consuming. You're being helicopter parents. The same kind of helicopters that sent troops in to slaughter a bunch of innocent people in My Lai during the Vietnam War. Every single time that you voice your concerns at a school board meeting, you're practically supporting genocide all over the world. You should be more like Chairman Mao. He'd never slaughter people or ban their books. He was a gentleman of culture. He was a gentleman of refinement and sophistication. You should wrap your arms around him and feel Feel his warm embrace while he sniffs your hair and tells you how much he loves you. But you don't even know what love is, do you, you wannabe Benito Mussolini looking cosplayer motherfucker? Just ask any black, brown, Spanish, red, or yellow, and they'll tell you, American history, nothing but racisms. The American Revolution was fought by white landowners who had slaves, therefore, everything about the American Revolution was racisms. The Civil War was nothing but one gigantic white microaggression. The Civil War was nothing but a bunch of white apologists Uncle Tom's who fought not because of slavery, but because they felt guilty over being white. God, don't even get me started on the American Civil Rights Movement. Bunch of fucking black-faced white supremacists who believe that all people are created equal and should be judged based on the contents of their character and not on the color of their skin. What a bunch of racisms. This is precisely why it's totally okay to ban books. We need to create an education system that's safe and secure for our children. We need an environment where teachers feel safe to take time out of their students' day to come out of the closet. Where teachers can leave out litter boxes for the students who identify as cats and need a place to take a shit. An army of teachers to teach our toddlers about the joys of masturbation. What a time to be alive, huh folks?